This is Blanca Angel. I'm your tutor for Physics 2420, and today we're going to solve problems 11.18 uh, of night. So let's read it together. So we have a 300 gram bird flying along at 6.0 meters per second. She's a 10 gram insect heading straight forward with a speed of 30 meters per second. The bird opens the mat wide open and enjoys a nice lunch. So here we want to know what is the bird's speed initially after salowing. Okay. So as always, I'm going to make a drawing. It's going to have the bird. Moving. At 6.0 meters per second and 0 0.3 kilograms. And I have a fly or an insect moving straight, heading straight towards the speed, towards that, with a speed of 30 meters per second and a mass of 10 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. So I change this into 10 times 10 to the minus 3 just to change it into kilograms, which that would be 0 0.01 kilograms. Mm -hmm. That's 10 grams. Okay, so this is what's happening. They're flying towards each other. It opens them out. That's a bird opening its mouth. And he has a nice lunch. Okay. I know it's going to look weird, but <laughs> so the insect is inside his belly. Okay. So this is what's happening in this instant. This is what we're going to call a inelastic collision. So this inelastic collision, this is how it is. We're going to have, we're not going to identify the system. So the system in this problem, I'm going to make it both the bird plus insect. So if that's the system, we can do the conservation. So for this, we're going to have conservation of momentum. Since there's no forces acting on this object, since the system is enclosed, there's nothing coming in and out of the system. It's not interacting with the environment. It's just these two objects. So the change in momentum is going to be equals to zero. So momentum final minus momentum initial equals to zero. So momentum final equals momentum initial. So this is our equation. So we're going to have two objects with both mass and speed. And at the end, we have only one object with one mass. So that's going to be mass of the bird plus the mass of the insect and one speed. So we're going to have mass bird times the speed of the bird plus mass of the insect plus the, in the speed of the insect. It's going to be equals to mass, the two masses time whatever speed um, and this speed is going to be is speed one. Mm -hmm. 
So we're looking for the speed at the end after soloing. So the speed is going to be mass velocity plus mass velocity over mass plus mass equals velocity one. That's the velocity after the movement. So now we're going to just uh, implement the numbers. So that is 0 0.3 times 6 plus 0 0.01 times 30. Remember, this is going to be negative times negative 30 because this one is moving in the opposite direction. And everything over 0 0.3 plus 0 0.01. We plug in the values. We have 1.8 minus 0 0.3 over 0 0.6 Zero point thirty one. Mm -hmm. So one point eight minus zero point three is one point five. So we have a speed of four point eight three eight meters per second. And that's our answer. Thank you so much for coming. Have a nice day.